the home of the common Joe and the common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking heads. Random topic of the day, as always. I like this because, you know, it presses a few buttons. And today's random topic of the day is Jason Aldean and his number one new hit song that is topping the charts and is the most downloaded song right now going in music today. And yet country music TV, CMT, wants to pull it from their channel. Once again, it's the liberal spastics out there and all the little groups, I can't remember the name of them, trying to shout people down and censor people. And they'll try to shout you down with false labels. They'll call you things like racist and bigot and uh, a misogynist and all sorts of other crap just to try to get you to be quiet. And it works on most people. But there's going to be people that's going to fight back against y'all. That is, I think his song is called Try That in a Small Town. I haven't listened to the song yet, but I intend to. Um, I like country music. It's not my favorite genre. My wife really loves it. I was more of a heavy metal guy growing up, a headbanger's ball and all that stuff. But the hypocrisy of it is what really gets me. If CMT thinks they're beyond reproach and they can't be had, well, you just need to, get, <laughs> need to talk to Target and Bud Light and ask them what can happen. People are starting to turn the worm a little bit. People are starting to realize that they are powerful enough to change things just by tuning you out. And that's what's going to happen, CMT. Because this, this there's nothing wrong with this song. There's nothing racist about it. They made a big deal because in this video, there's a courthouse that was built hundreds of years ago where a hangings or hangings took place, I think, for slaves back in the day. But... Do you know uh, Do you know or realize, CMT, how many courthouses throughout the United States, not just in the South, had hangings, racist hangings? <laughs> I guess we can't have any more courthouses in any videos. And the same courthouse, by the way, was used, I think, in the Hannah Montana movie with Molly Cyrus. But see, Molly Cyrus, she's real skanky and slutty and just generally nasty and fits their narrative. You know, they like that immoral, sleazy type like Miley Cyrus because that's what they want. They want perversion and pedophilia and all that crap to be legal. Well, y'all can have your little perverted opinions. I hope you get put in jail for some of it one day, but uh, we're going to have our opinion too. Y'all not going to tell us what to do anymore. Y'all not going to censor us anymore. That, that, that shit's coming to an end. So y'all might as well get used to it. And that song, it's going to be played, CMT. Whether it's on your stupid-ass channel or not, it will be played. Now, today's topic of the day is Lane Kiffin at SEC Media Days basically calls out the NCAA about the legalized cheating that is NIL and how it basically corrupts the transfer portal. So, let's talk about it. to the outlaw posse party that's right let's get this party crunk and here they come riding on in once again the outlaw posse is now in effect and today's four horsemen shout outs go to rick birdwell shane moore zach hamner and kathy clark are mounted up and saddled up and they're ready to help me with this outlaw posse college football invasion. And if you want to be a member of the Outlaw Posse and get some of those perks as well and get your shout out and get your badge like they have and get deputized, all you got to do is join the Outlaw Posse. It's only $2.99 a month, 75 cents a week. It's a little join button next to subscribe button. Just hit that join button. And if you're on an Apple phone, I think you might have to go to your computer or laptop because for some reason they don't mesh with YouTube memberships. This is the Outlaw of College Football. And I can also be located on Twitter at OCF Productions. Now, getting right to it here. Old Lane Kiffin, once again. Old Joey Freshwater. People are like, why are you calling Joey Freshwater? Give you a little, little, quick, little quick story about old, old Lane Kiffin. 
They called him Joey Freshwater down here at the University of Alabama because he used to go down to uh, the bars on campus and partake with the uh, the co-eds and all the other students down there, but he would go by the name of Joey Freshwater like nobody knew him. At Alabama, everybody knows the coaches. You're, it's like the president's cabinet or something. But, uh, yeah, that was his alias, Joey Freshwater, so he could get away with whatever he was trying to get away with. But seems like Lane's trying to develop somewhat of a moral compass as he's basically called out the NCAA about some of the same stuff that a lot of us have concerns about. Uh, some of us, I mean, not all of us, some of us probably like the way NIL's going, but me personally, I don't. Just like Lane Kiffin said, and I have some notes here from SEC Media Days, Lane Kiffin says NIL is legalized cheating, but also said he has no issue with players getting paid, but the immediate transfer portal is being leveraged with NIL and tampering. And I agree with that completely. They should be paid. I mean, they should be given some kind of stipend. I think they were already being given some kind of stipend, uh, about $1,500 or something I know out here at the University of Alabama, and it was legal. Uh, but they should probably just up the stipend or they can do like the NFL and have some rules in place. Because just like Lane Kiffin pointed out in uh, his interview at ACC Media Days, you don't see Tom Brady and LeBron James and back in the day, Michael Jordan. I don't even know why I said LeBron James. It almost made me throw up saying his name. But um, you don't see none of these famous NFL players just up and leaving their team. When they feel like it, oh, uh, New York's going to give me more money. They're a bigger market. They're giving me more money. I'm just going to leave. You sign contracts, and you have a lot of legal lingo that you have to abide by. And see, a lot of these parents of these children are at fault with a lot of this stuff. They want to go ahead and get that. They want to go ahead and get that money right now. They got all the guys in dollar signs and eyes. And I'm not going to sit here and say if I had a kid that was that talented that I might not be a little corrupted as well. Because when you get that kind of money thrown in front of you, you start you start wanting to maybe go a little corrupt sometimes. But the problem is, you see, these parents and these kids, they think that they, you know, they want all the good without the bad. They they think that, you know, hey, we can get we won't be paid adult money. Okay. You know, legally you are an adult. That's why I get mad when they call them kids. And sometimes I slip up and do it. Just out of habit, but they're not really kids. They're young men. If you can serve in a war and vote for the president of the United States and go out and kill people in a war, well, then you're an adult. And uh, they want to be treated like adults. They want that money like adults, right? But if you're going to do that, then you got to you got to have contracts like adults. You got to have um, something in writing as far as a professional contract goes. You can't just decide one day that you don't want to no longer play for that team and go play for another team. They don't do that way in NFL. If you think you're going to get to the NFL and you're just going to get tired of Cleveland and decide you want to go to Miami and, and frolic on South Beach with, with Tua Tunga Viola, that's not going to happen. And it gives them a realist, unrealistic view of how um, the workforce operates. And then when they get out in the real world, they end up, you know, screwing up and basically petering out and not being a success because they're not really given the tools or being taught what it's like to really be an adult getting paid an adult salary. And Kiffin also made the point that you could literally leverage this NIL transfer portal thing like three different times. And what you end up having is you these players that, that um, maybe Nick Saban and Kirby Smart don't want these other great coaches that got great booster backings like Texas and Steve Sarkeesian. They go to places like Wake Forest or even an Ole Miss and start doing really good, like the Jameer Gibbs guy at Georgia Tech. And Alabama just says, oh, I'm going to come over and take him away from you. That wasn't right. Not really. And you should have some kind of rules in place to protect the other universities, because what you're having to do now is sort of like a farm system. You know, college football is really sort of a farm system system for the NFL anyway. 
But now you've got a farm system within a farm system. It's going to start being like minor league baseball. You can have uh, A league, double A, triple A. <laughs> yeah. If uh, a coach gets a nugget and he starts doing well at Wake Forest, guess what? Alabama wants him. So guess what? Alabama's going to go over and likely take him away from him because there's no uh, waiting period. There's no kind of deterrent to keep them from just breaking their contract with Wake Forest. There's no legal bounds or rules. And it just don't work like that in the real workplace. And these parents and these students, they're going to have to stop belly aching and whining and wetting their diaper and acting like big-ass sissies about it and adhere to some rules. And the NCAA needs to grow a spine and set some rules up or y'all going to go away, man. They're going to do away with the NCAA if this shit keeps going on. I'm telling you, this is going to be the end of the NCAA if they don't get together and put some kind of rules in place. Then Kiffin at the end was asked about, well, what about Ole Miss boosters? Y'all got boosters that pay players too, right? And he's like, well, I'm not going to get into all that, but basically the way he made it out to be is like, there's levels of boosters. And Ole Miss might have some boosters, but they don't have boosters like Texas, Alabama, Texas A&M, Oklahoma. <laughs> they don't have those kind of boosters. So what you're going to start having is, like I said, it's going to be like AAA baseball, man. You're going to have different levels of minor league baseball, and it's just going to be called college football. And that's all i got to say about that. If you don't mind, there's a little heart down here. If you want to make a one-time donation to the program, just hit that little heart with the dollar sign in the middle. Throw a few dollars in the coffers. And as I said before, you can join the Outlaw Posse as well. I'm going to add some more perks pretty soon. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start adding um, member-only comments, member comment of the day or whatever. That kind of deal. If y'all can think of some more perks that we can put in there as well, that'd be great. But if you want to get your badge that everybody gets when they join the Outlaw Posse and get the Four Horsemen shout out, all you got to do is hit that join button. It's the subscribe button. It ain't $2.99 a month. It's only 75 cents a week. And you can mount up and saddle up and be a part of the Outlaw Posse. And with that, I'm out of here. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, KMCA. All the other teams, class is now officially dismissed.